You don't have to burn books to destroy a culture. Just get people to stop reading them. I have never listened to anyone who criticized my taste in space travel, sideshows or gorillas. When this occurs, I pack up my dinosaurs and leave the room. Why is it? He said, one time, at the subway entrance, I feel I've known you so many years. Because I like you, she said, and I don't want anything from you. We are cups, constantly and quietly being filled. The trick is, knowing how to tip ourselves over and let the beautiful stuff out. There is more than one way to burn a book. And the world is full of people running about with lit matches. Stuff your eyes with wonder, he said, live as if you'd drop dead in 10 seconds. See the world. It's more fantastic than any dream made or paid for in factories. We need not to be let alone. We need to be really bothered once in a while. How long is it since you were really bothered? About something important, about something real? There must be something in books, something we can't imagine, to make a woman stay in a burning house, there must be something there. You don't stay for nothing. Learning to let go should be learned before learning to get. Life should be touched, not strangled. You've got to relax, let it happen at times, and at others move forward with it. I'm 17 and I'm crazy. My uncle says the two always go together. When people ask your age, he said, always say 17 and insane. Don't think. Thinking is the enemy of creativity. It's self-conscious and anything self-conscious is lousy. You can't try to do things. You simply must do things. The good writers touch life often. The mediocre ones run a quick hand over her. The bad ones rape her and leave her for the flies. Don't ask for guarantees. And don't look to be saved in any one thing, person, machine, or library. Do your own bit of saving, and if you drown, at least die knowing you were heading for shore. The magic is only in what books say, how they stitch the patches of the universe together into one garment for us. But you can't make people listen. They have to come round in their own time, wondering what happened and why the world blew up around them. It can't last, a good night's sleep, or a 10 minute ball, or a pint of chocolate ice cream, or all three together, is good medicine. We have too many cell phones. We've got too many internets. We have got to get rid of those machines. We have too many machines now. If you know how to read, you have a complete education about life, then you know how to vote within a democracy. But if you don't know how to read, you don't know how to decide. That's the great thing about our country, we're a democracy of readers, and we should keep it that way. Books are alive, you see. They're not dead, they're alive.